Poison Sumac in Full Bloom by Gary J. Ordog, MD. And this is currently happening in May of 2022 here, British Columbia, Canada. Here's the classical three Toxicodendrons Poison Oak, Poison Ivy, Poison Sumac. This is the Poison Sumac in full flower which has white flowers and in the summer red berries. Okay, here's uh, spring. It's uh, May 6th. And uh, these poison sumac are in full bloom uh, with nice yellow flowers covered in bees. You can see them back there pollinating the flowers so the bright red berries will develop in the summer and fall. So anyway, this is uh, full bloom and these are beautiful flowering poison sumac here. It's kind of windy, sorry. There's a bee. There's a bee right there for you. Pollinating it in the wind. Beautiful. Again, when I was a kid, um, my parents called this poison berry. It will have bright red berries on it, and animals don't eat them. Maybe the bears do, but most animals are not immune to the toxins. And uh, at least would cause anorexia, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And uh, here you can see the bees pollinating them. So. I guess if you get too much of that pollen in your honey, uh, you could get sick as well. So one of the reasons to watch uh, where the honey comes from. Anyway, uh, better known as poison sumac. You don't want to touch this as well. You may get a rash, uh, develop allergies to it. And uh, if you're especially asthmatic or atopic person, you can develop uh, serious health issues. Okay, again, poison sumac, what we used to call poison berry, bright red berries in the summer that nobody eats. Okay, thank you. Or some people do, but not advised to do that. Okay, again, medical opinion of me and my textbook, uh, Medical Toxicology. Uh, also called Ellen Horn's Medical Toxicology. All right, please uh, look it up. It's on ResearchGate if you need more information. Thank you. This is poison sumac, which is a type of toxicodendron, which has urushiol, which causes the rash. Inhale the smoke from this plant. As in a fire, you get asthma and angioedema. In just this plant, you can get angioedema and severe gastrointestinal distress. Minimum ingestion symptoms, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and dehydration. Yes, I'm certified by the Drug Enforcement Agency. And here is my medical school diploma, copy of it. And uh, yes, I am uh, board certified in several specialties including uh, as a forensic examiner, forensic medicine. Here's a sign from my old office in medical toxicology. Here's an award I received in medical toxicology, uh, allegedly tox of the town. Uh, as co-author and editor of the Ellenhorn Medical Toxicology, Diagnosis and Treatment of Human Poisoning. Here's our textbook on CD-ROM. Here's putting up the signage for the medical toxicology department uh, at my old office and my old department. Thank you for all your kind support over the years and I appreciate all your help and uh, enjoyed giving help to the millions of patients that I could. Please subscribe to my free channel, press on my caricature below. And yes, I worked in the park in the 1970s, including uh, this one described here.